All right, YouTube, what's going on? Hope everybody doing all right. I'm bringing y'all something a little different today. I'm gonna ride out here and look at some uh, some public land we used to hunt. It's actually government land, but uh, yes, the same thing. That we used to, I've hunted a long time ago with some buddies of mine, and it's not too far from where I live, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check it out, ride around this day off and see what they've done up here. I've heard they've made some adjustments to the property and I hadn't been up there some years and this is where I like to go and run young dogs and train them and shoot over them and everything before I go to big hunts but I also go up here and if they get on there's a lot of deer up here if they get on a deer it's a chance for me to really break them you know in the wild not just with spraying stuff that I've used in the past that works great but you it's different when you take them out and they run a rabbit and run across that deer and you can actually see it versus being in the bottom on the other side of a bottom or whatever. And I got a few young dogs. I know a couple of them will try to run them. So I'm just going out here and look at it before I actually load the dogs up and head up here and try to scout and see if it is some still good hunting spots. You know, we've killed a few rabbits up here before. You just got to get in there early in the season before a lot of pressure hits. So y'all stay with me. Probably, I don't know how this video is going to go. It's the first time I'm doing something like this, but I think I'll bring y'all along. Maybe y'all be interested in it, but uh, stay with me. I'll bring you back, Higgins Counties. All right, I done pulled up. I've arrived out here uh, at the land, at the, I guess the government property, however you want to call it. This is the front, I don't know. I think they call it CRP, whatever that stuff is. But yeah, it's coverage all over there. I, I've never hunted this front part. I'm leery of the roads, you know, the main blacktop road, because people can get to going pretty quick. I'm gonna uh, go back here and park where I've hunted it before and see what it looks like. But this is the main road coming in to uh, this government property. So, but it's a lot of cover, and there's rabbits in here, but it's a lot of deer in here as well. I had a couple buddies that deer hunts deer hunt up here and they've told me they've seen rabbits coming in here um but yeah i'm just showing y'all this little bit man and uh i'll bring y'all more when i park man just uh should enjoy the scenery if i can stabilize it man. up in the back side of it. I could have parked back there, but I didn't. So, I wonder if I'm going to see anybody down here hunting. Shit, I wonder if this bridge is not gone out. I forgot to ask him about that, but yeah. A little short story. The first time I ever came down here, I brought some young dogs that uh, I didn't even have shot collars back then. I think I had four dogs four young dogs and two of them ran deer and two of them didn't. And man, I like the road closed down here. Yeah. Right, how you gonna get through here? Like a bad guy. But yeah, it was right here in this bottom right here where the dogs uh dang it ain't no way around. I'm gonna have to walk out. I guess I'm gonna turn around right here. off and turn around right here. I guess I'm about to drive in from the back, man. Because I know it's a, it's a bit of bridge down there that I always washed out. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, it was a bridge I always that washed out down there. And should you come in, the water be over the road. seeing the cars park. You're not supposed to be able to drive down it, down off in here with a motorized vehicle. So I don't think I'm messing up anybody's deer hunt. Hope not. Uh, I'm gonna go back around and see if I can't come in from the other side. Cause I wanted to get to the spot I had been running it. I'm gonna drive up the road and see if it's another way in. But it still looks good. This bottom right here, I hunted it, but this is what them dogs got on a deer down here. It was deers running everywhere. But it 
looks good. Shoot. One so warm, it's about 70 degrees. I would have came and brought them out the day and see what we would have did. Still may do that. Yeah, I don't know. I may come out here uh Black Friday. I don't know. I'll see if it get cold in the next couple of weeks. Bring them dogs out here, run the young ones. Let's see what we can't do. We probably jump some rabbits and hunting. Probably can drop down right here and go. See trail for deers. So I just be aware of the main highway. One truck red behind up that old. Yeah, the dial box on the back. But uh, that was it. But this is it. This, this is our P. Uh, I guess this is what they call it. All that grass, man. It's, it's a lot of deer in here. A lot. But there's some big swamps in here. I mean, some big swamp red. Just gotta deal with the deer and all this coverage because it's hard to see them. somebody else but uh we hunted in here and the only thing about this up here this place can get crowded you can get a lot of people coming in here rabbit hunting but you know that's what it's for it's nobody's property that's the, the good thing about it if you don't know any landowner or anybody that'll let you rabbit hunt and you just want to enjoy the sport this is a great place to run like this is a great place but with that being said, hunting a big area like this, the dogs can get on the rabbit and he can leave your area. Now, you see a lot of these parking spots and stuff. His other rabbit hunters gonna be up here thinking the same thing. Hey, this is a great place to run. I don't have land. I don't, I'm just gonna go out here and hunt this land, which is within the well within their right to do so. But with that being said, we had dogs getting mixed in with other dogs. But we had, like, we hunted this corner right here. I think, yeah, we hunted right there. Uh, when the dogs did get mixed up with somebody else's dog. And 
you know, when that happened, it's the honor system. The guy looked at the nine tag. It was like, hey, we got your dog over here. Because we didn't know, you know, we heard the race going. You got seven, eight dogs going. And you didn't. we didn't know that the dog had got over there. That one young dog was missing. So you don't have intermingling of other dogs when you hunt property like this. That's the only thing. But man, it looks good in here. It looks really good. I'm, I'm probably going to come back and try it. I see. I can come back up here with my dogs, fear my young dogs. And if I pull up and there's other people down here hunting and stuff, I can go back home. I'm fine. hard running on these dogs in here and stuff like this when I look. Some dogs, they come up and work. Big, thick property like this, you probably won't kill a ton of rabbits. But man, you do get some good races. We've got good races out here. I think the first time I came, we got a race that went about an hour and a half in a rabbit accident. They run that rabbit down before we was able to kill them. But one time, I'm gonna get a shot off on them. They ran him stiff. Right before I got a shot of the fed dead in the past. So, yeah, this is what I think I'm going to do. Probably come back down next week. All right, I got one more side. I'm going to show y'all. That's it. So you need a few people here to get them to get them cut off. I think it may have been five or six of us. We did good, but yeah. There's a few spots like this across. Should should be in every state. Tennessee, Mississippi, Missouri. So I'm everywhere, but it's grown up a whole lot more than what it was. The first time I run it. But that's good. You need coverage because a lot of pressure beyond these rabbits and stuff. All right, I'm gonna head back out of here. All right, y'all, that's it, man. Uh, I rolled down there. It, it's it's a it's a lot of good hunt spots with this tag, man. It's a lot of good hunt spots down there. The more I think about it, I don't know if we're gonna hunt it because I don't know, man. I don't know if I can cut them. We can cut them off in there. I know his rabbits in there. I know the dogs will run them. God, I don't, I did more walking around. I don't think I can cut them off in there. And I don't think I could see a deer if the young dogs did get on them. I wouldn't be able to tell it was deer until they left. So uh, that's kind of how it was the last time. But last time it, was, it wasn't as hot. So I'm going uh, to do some thinking, talk to my pops, see what he thinks. But uh, we have other places to hunt. It was just a thought, man. 
to get out there and hunt, maybe we'll see some deers, see who will run them. The young, which one of the younger dogs would run them. But it's so growed up, man, even though it's close by me. Man, it'll be a hard, hard, hard time cutting them big rabbits off in there. So last time I got to think of last time we hunted, it was probably like five of us. And see, that's my thought. I don't know if uh, me and my pop can cut them off. Like you need like three or four guys in there at least. So we may go and hunt somewhere else, but we have other places to hunt. That was just like, hey, let me check this out. I have free time. Let me see what I can come up with. But hey, thank y'all for watching. If you're still here at this point, man, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe if you like what you saw. If not, man, y'all, thank y'all for watching anyway. Hey, take it easy.